Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are all set to uh, explore Santorini. Uh, we've got a day tour planned here, which sort of booked through, uh, I think it was Vator, yeah, right? Vator. It was through Vator.com, so we're just waiting uh, for the bus to come and pick us up. And today what we have booked is um, a tour of a Bronze Age civilization, which is called, you know, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Akroti or Ak or something like that. Anyway, I will reconfirm that once I get somebody local here. And then um, after that, we're gonna go to the Black Sand Beach uh, called Parissa, Parissa Beach. And then there is this monastery that is located on the highest point of this island. And it is the monastery of the Prophet Elias. So we're gonna go and uh, spend some time there, take some scenic photographs. And then after that, we're gonna go for a wine tasting. So yes, a jam-packed day ahead of us today and we are so excited about it. And of course, all of you are gonna be coming along with me. Let's have a look on the right to show you what I was talking about. I will make it for the... Okay guys, so we are on the way to Akrotiri now, but we stopped to admire this beautiful view here that we have of um, Santorini and then, what is it, Naikamini, a volcano, and then there's another island here. And we're going to stop here for about 10 minutes and then we're off to Akrotiri. Okay. So we're in front of the archaeological prehistoric town of Akratiri and we'll be going in for a guided tour. However, there is an entry fee of 12 euros per person. Soros buying tickets as we speak. And uh, this is, once again, I'll let you know, a prehistoric town which was actually destroyed by a devastating volcano that took place about... 3,500 years ago apparently and people abandoned it overnight. Even though we've booked the tour with Vador.com, I guess that includes the travel and the guided tour but it does not include the entry to the site. So this site apparently is not like what we saw in Delos where it was out in the open. This apparently is covered and air conditioned. This is an active excavation site. Um, as you can see, the archaeologists are still working here. And the reason it was covered is to um, uh, protect it from the elements of nature, from the weather, so um, the archaeologists can work peacefully here. So that's actually not a bad thought. The archaeological site of Akrotiri is a Minoan Bronze Age settlement well preserved under the ashes of a volcano that erupted in around 1600 BC. Akrotiri is also known as Santorini's Pompeii. Based on the findings at the excavation site, Akrotiri started life as a simple fishing and farming village growing grains and olives. Akrotiri quickly became a big, rich and prosperous city because of it being positioned right on the trade route between Europe and the Middle East. People lived in two- and three-story houses, complete with balconies, hot and cold running water, and even proper toilets. The Minoans decorated their homes with elaborate frescoes. They crafted beautiful pots, drinking cups, huge storage vessels, and sculptures. They even made their own wine. Remains of olive oil and dried fish have been found in the hundreds of pots discovered on the site. Furniture like beds, chairs, and tables have also been discovered. The Akrotiri archaeological site can be comfortably viewed because it's set in a big, light and airy building. Since Akrotiri is still an active archaeological site, it is covered to protect both the excavators and the mud brick buildings of the prehistoric town from the elements of nature. A comfortable and cool temperature is maintained throughout the site. Walkways have been suspended above the ruins to make your viewing experience more enjoyable as you walk through two- and three-story houses. These walkways take you around the outer edges of the town. Just keep in mind that what's ground level for us is roof height in Akrathiri. And that's because the layers of ash were up to 40 meters thick in some places. However, there is a pathway that leads you down to the original street level of the town. You can see multi-level houses and shops with huge street level windows here. The market square. Okay. 4,000 years ago. 
This here is a house that belonged to obviously a wealthy man. He happens to have a toilet on the upper floor. But uh, yeah, so this was the actual street level, but I think it's it was about this much lower. But the people here have kept it a little higher because a lot of people pass through here every day. So this is the street. Watch your head. So some phases of this excavation, well the part we're in right now dates back to 4,000 years ago, but there are some phases of this ex excavation that date back to six and a half thousand years. Now just imagine all of that is documented in these rocks. That's the grinding thing. This here apparently was a shop. And here's some sort of a grinding stone or something. But because the window is so large on the ground level, uh, this uh, signifies that this building here was most probably a shop. These are beds, upside down beds. Somewhere around 1500 to 1600 BC, catastrophe struck this prosperous little town and everything literally turned to ashes. The huge volcano Thera erupted and blew the island of Santorini into bits. It was one of the largest volcanic eruptions recorded on Earth, sending up an ash cloud 20 miles high. It also set off a 100 meter tsunami that reached as far as Egypt. When the eruption was over, Akrutiri was left buried under a layer of ash and debris that was almost 200 feet deep. Since no animal or human remains were discovered on the site, it is believed that the inhabitants of Akrutiri had time to pack up their livestock and belongings and flee the town before the big eruption. But exactly where the inhabitants of Akrutiri went is still a mystery. Archaeologists say that only one third of the town has been discovered since the excavation started in 1967. It could take another century to excavate it all. If prehistoric settlements interest you, then I'd recommend you visit the ruins of Akrathiri whenever you're in Santorini. Hiring a guide or booking a guided tour would definitely be worth it if you wish to know more about this prehistoric town in detail. This is Parisa Beach. Black sand, black warm sand. Oh, <laughs> this is heaven for me. People who know me well know that I love anything warm, or anything hot. So this oh, is so relaxing. Oh, so relaxing. We just have one hour here. We'll see after eating if we have some time to swim. Otherwise, we are gonna come back here. Oh wow, you changed your dress. I changed my dress because the sun is quite uh, thicker. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be, but so I thought I'd just cover up since I don't have sunscreen on today. So then I wore this dress, which you got me from Greece uh, when you were here back in 2015. Yes, And I never had the chance to wear it, so today I'm wearing it in Greece. In Greece. You could have just bought it for me now. So how are you feeling the sun? Love it. And how do you feel these uh, oh, black sand it. grains? I can, like sleep in this. <laughs> oh, that's so warm. <laughs> I love it. Why don't you go in the water? No, it's too cold. I don't like anything cold. Uh, it's not that cold. Once you go in the water, you don't feel that cold. Oh, by the way, these are the restaurants. If we have time, we're going to go eat there. Otherwise, we're just going to eat this and have some beers. These are yummy. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. So we're eating right now at Aquarius restaurant. It's right on the Parisa beach, which is a black sand beach. And I must say that since I've been here, this is the best pizza that I've had so far. I just love it. It's amazing. Nice and cheesy. Nice and cheesy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the beach right in front of us. Uh, we just love it. We gotta like chug that down. <laughs> Our bus is leaving in like five minutes. That's a restaurant, Aquarius. This reminds me of my mom's home cooked pizza. Amazing. I'll just ask mom. Yeah. How's your rush rush uh, lunch? I had to rush through my amazing pizza. 
got half of it packed and then I had to go to the washroom so I had to ask my tour guide if I could quickly go quickly went and then I ran back to the bus so made it on time now it's moving so yeah still we are like five minutes behind oh well The highest point of the island. <laughs> Except yeah, for up right? there. That yeah. would be higher. Yeah, if you have 10 minutes, you can run and you know, <laughs> yeah. come back. <laughs> you and can try that. No. Look at that. The plane is landing. There the plane has landed. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's an airstrip. That's the airport. Yeah, wow. Somehow I'm going to my winter. <laughs> so what do you think about the view? It's nice, very nice. And this like? is one of the most highest point. Uh, that's that's that's, actually the, highest. that's the highest. That's, the monastery. that's a monastery. Yeah. So we cannot go there. It's been closed for people in the past 25 years. But this is the maximum height you can go up to. Just be careful. We have uh, Sona Singh here. And if you see that side is the volcano. As you see, that's the volcano. All right. So where are we right now? We are at a vineyard apparently. And we're going to do a wine tasting here. So this uh, wine tasting place, that's the name by the way Very sweet. Excuse me, what's the name of this winery? Cuchoyanopoulos. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay, good soy. Cuchoyanopoulos. Cuchoyanopoulos. Okay. Okay, well, because I do a vlog, so I just wanted to mention all of this in my vlog. Okay, so we had this amazing wine tasting experience. And we tried this Astritical uh, white wine, which is simply amazing. And this red wine here was quite dry. For those of you who don't like too strong of a taste, amazing. It's the one to have. And then there's a dessert wine, which was Camaritis. Com Camaritis. And it was the perfect dessert wine, nice and sweet, with a little bit of tanginess. So yes, next time you guys are in Greece, do check out uh, the Kutoso. I'm sorry, I'm going to ask her to pronounce it. Kutoyanopoulos. 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 Yeah, winery. See, uh, yes. I can pronounce it. She cannot. I can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but do come here for the wine tasting experience. And they have some amazing wines. By the way, this is like the top five wineries in the world. This is actually the oldest winery in Greece, I believe. And uh, they've been around since the 1600s. But then they started producing wine in the 1800s. And yes, they produce some amazing wine. So do come here for your wine tour. Okay, where are you going for? 
I'm gonna go uh, buy the white wine. So, ma'am, if I wanna buy it, where would yes. I? Okay. One minute, I'm done. Yes. You want to try some other wines just in case that we uh, like them better? The white wine that I really liked, a Siftico mm -hmm. white wine. It was amazing. It was just the right amount of sweetness with the right notes of um, kind of citrusy, a little fruity, but it was just perfect. So we're buying two bottles of that. Look at this, the pine views. There's like eight meters underground. Thank you. Wow, excuse me. Yep. Right? <laughs> yeah. How do you find it? Oh, we don't miss our bus. Yeah, I'm just. Wow. Probably one of the most beautiful wine museum I've ever seen. And we have to rush through it. <laughs> Next time. What are we doing here? We're gonna watch the sunset from our hotel room. So we didn't go to Ia. We didn't go to Ia because we've already seen it, and you thought that the sunset is better from our room. That's why. Okay, so whenever you are in Santorini, uh, don't forget to take this uh, full day tour. Uh, they pick you up from your hotel or from a designated spot, and then they take you to all the important places of Santorini. It's called uh, the Santorini full day tour. We booked it through Baker.com, yeah. but uh, it's Santos Travel. They're the ones that um, organize it. So do go for the one that is organized by Santos Travel. And then they've got this one tour guide called Katie. She is amazing. She explains everything Very to cute. the T. Yeah. So we're gonna enjoy the sunset from our room. What better view? So we are preparing for our romantic evening watching the sunset and sort of here is going to open up the chattari so I'm going to show you that one second wow okay. all done all done okay and here's the madira and here's the view and there's the sun which is still quite up high on the horizon. Yeah, it's still at least one hour. At least an hour, but until then we will enjoy. So this concludes my vlog of Santorini and I shall see you again next time in my next vlog. And if you haven't already, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Do like the videos as well and feel free to share them if you like them. Okay, so I'll see you again in my next vlog. Love you all. Thank you so much for watching.